So today we'll be taking a look at everything that's happening with Sasha Banks and Bailey. Could Sasha Banks have a major reveal to throw in Bailey's face? We'll discuss. There are some reoccurring things that keep happening between Sasha and Bailey, and even some new things. So let's take a look at everything that's been going on. Ever since winning the tag team championship, it looks like all the cracks in Sasha and Bailey's friendship were patched up. We sort of figured that winning the tag titles would fix the problem. How can you really be upset with each other when both of you are dripping in championship gold? Of course, these titles are going to erase all the problems. Sasha and Bailey are back to their normal selves since winning the tag titles. Before the tag title win, Sasha was so quiet and seemed a little uncertain with Bailey. It looked like she was wondering if everything the fans and other superstars were saying about Bailey was right, probably asking herself if Bailey was in fact using her. But since they won the tag titles, Sasha seems more relaxed and seems back to being herself. She's more happy now, she's cracking jokes, it really looks like holding a title was what Sasha Banks' character really needed. As far as their breakup goes, we talked a few weeks ago about how WWE was pumping the brakes for the split because they aren't sure if the Sasha and Bailey match could happen at SummerSlam, so they're taking it slow for now and seeing how things go. But if you pay close attention, there are several few moments throughout the shows that seem to be indicating the issues between Sasha and Bailey. Take a look at the most recent edition of SmackDown. Sasha and Bailey are relaxing and having a great time on commentary until Nikki Cross comes out and attacks the both of them. Nikki Cross then gets in the ring and challenges Sasha Banks to a match. Sasha is shaking her head no and looks like she's ready to get out of there. And that's when Bailey once again accepts the challenge on behalf of Sasha Banks. This is something that Bailey does basically every week now, and it never fails to get Sasha Banks upset. You can see Sasha give off that same little facial expression every time Bailey accepts a match on her behalf. It's clear that Sasha can't stand it, but she's learned to look past it and just compete in the match. Obviously, there's going to be a day where Sasha Banks has had enough and tells Bailey, "No, you go compete for me." It'll actually be pretty cool to see the roles reversed one week and have Sasha accept a match on Bailey's behalf. It'll be a nice way for Sasha to get back at Bailey and show her how that feels. The other little hints for the breakup mostly came from the SmackDown commentary. Sasha and Bailey talked about how they walked through the entire SmackDown women's division and there isn't anyone left to face. Michael Cole stops Sasha and is like, well, you never actually defended the title because you were never SmackDown's women champion. So, was a nice little line there by Michael Cole. Cole continued to stir up the conflict between them. He told Sasha that she's close to becoming a Grand Slam champion. She just has to win the SmackDown Women's Championship and asked him if they ever planned on going one-on-one -on -one for the SmackDown Women's title. Sasha Banks and Bailey both laughed it off and said that the matchup would happen in his dreams. Bailey responded by saying that there isn't anyone left to face. This is actually one of the reasons why I think Sasha and Bailey's tag team title reign will be a bit short. I love the fact that they're tag team champions, and we get to see them on Raw and SmackDown now. But does Bailey really have enough time to build a story for the SmackDown Women's Championship while also defending the women's tag titles? It just seems a little bit too much to handle. For example, Bailey didn't defend the SmackDown Women's title at Backlash because she was busy defending the tag titles. So that's the problem that's going to keep happening here. Bailey will either have to have two matches at pay-per-views to defend both titles, or she'll have to defend one title every other pay-per-view event. That's the main issue here. It's been basically a month since we had anyone step up on SmackDown as number one contender for the women's title. So that's what gives me the feeling that this tag title can't go on for too long because Bailey obviously has to put time into defending her singles title. Another little thing to point out about Sasha and Bailey's tag team matches is that Sasha always picks up the win for the team 100% of the time. It's supposed to be a tag team effort, but you can argue that Sasha is putting in the most work since she's literally responsible for all their wins as a tag team. Sasha won the titles on SmackDown, she got the pin at Backlash, she got the pin on NXT, and she even won her match on SmackDown against Nikki Cross. So, Sasha is definitely on a hot streak here, and the fact that she's always the one scoring the tag team wins doesn't seem like it's just a coincidence. It looks like Sasha picking up all the wins is going to be important later on in this story, because Sasha will be able to reveal to Bailey that she was carrying their tag team title reign the entire time. 
Sasha can even throw in how Bailey is only women's champion right now because of her as well. It seems like all these wins will be used by Sasha to just throw it all in Bailey's face when they eventually fall out with each other. So when will this fallout be happening? If I had to take a guess, I would assume we'll start to see their breakup kick back in a few weeks after losing the tag team titles. We talked about winning the tag team titles is kind of like a bandage for the wounds in their friendship. And once they lose these tag team titles, that bandage is going to be ripped right off and all the wounds and friendship issues will come back out. That's why the tag team title is just a temporary fix for their friendship. I expect everything to go crazy again once they drop the tag titles. Another thing I saw fans pointing out was how Sasha and Bailey are on all three shows of Raw, NXT, and SmackDown. But no one is complaining, like the way they all were when Charlotte was doing it. A lot of fans commented on this issue, and the fan that started this whole debate really made a horrible point. While being a Raw superstar, Charlotte jumped over to NXT full-time as the NXT Women's Champion skipping the entire line of NXT women that wanted the title. So she took some time away from the NXT women's roster while also being a full-time Raw superstar. That was the problem there. There's not an issue with Sasha Banks and Bayley appearing on Raw and NXT because it's their duty to appear on all shows as the women's tag team champions. Charlotte never had a real duty to do on all three shows. So that's the difference there, and everyone had to have noticed this by now. Sasha is still responsible for all their tag team wins, with Bailey doing nothing to help them get the win. Then Bailey wants to get on the mic and say, we're unstoppable, when literally it's Sasha picking up all the wins for the tag team. Sasha is actually on quite the hot streak. She was previously on a massive losing streak. But at the moment, all Sasha is doing is picking up these huge wins, so her momentum is building up as well. That leads to the big tease we saw on Raw. Sasha had a lot of fans fooled when she told Bailey that she was jealous of the two titles and wanted a title opportunity. Everyone thought that she meant a title match for Bailey's title, but it was a fake out. Sasha was actually referring to the Raw Women's Championship that is currently held by Asuka. That match is now official, so Sasha Banks vs. Asuka for the Raw Women's title will be taking place at Extreme Rules. But there is one big issue here that I can't ignore. I love Sasha Banks. I definitely want to see her win a singles title sooner than later. But from a storyline point of view, Sasha has no case to just insert herself into the Raw women's title picture. Sasha is a SmackDown superstar, not a Raw superstar by any means. She's only on Raw to defend the tag titles. Or so we thought. She's only supposed to be there for the tag team title duties but now she can claim herself as number one contender for the Raw women's title? This goes back to all the inconsistencies in the WWE. We just had a triple threat number one contenders match for the Raw women's championship a few weeks ago, but now we have a SmackDown superstar just proclaiming to be the number one contender for the Raw women's title without ever competing in a singles competition on Raw. I'm glad Sasha is getting this title match, but from a storyline point of view, it just makes no sense. The Raw women's roster is once again neglected. However, we know the bigger picture here. The outcome of this match between Sasha and Asuka will likely advance the story for Sasha vs. Bailey. My prediction for the match goes like this. I think Sasha will definitely have Asuka very close to being defeated. Asuka has been nothing but a weak champion lately with all her title wins. Backlash was a countout. Raw was a fast count, and she only picked up the win on Charlotte because Charlotte was seriously hurt before the match. All the Asuka title wins have an excuse next to it. So that's what makes me think Sasha will have the upper hand and have her close to defeat. But I expect Bailey to cost Sasha the title win. That's when we're really going to kick off to their feud. Bailey probably doesn't want Sasha to have two titles as well. She wants to be the only double champion on the team. So I feel like Bailey will put a stop to Sasha's win in some way. That's what I expect to see, especially with Sasha's recent hot winning streak. I expect her to really put on a dominant showing against Asuka, but lose thanks to Bailey. This will be another excuse title win for Asuka, which is just ridiculous already. That's four excuse title match wins for Asuka in a row. If you're not going to let her pin anyone cleanly, then why is she even champion? But that's a story for another day. What are your thoughts on everything going on right now between Sasha and Bailey? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.